Okay, this is my 10,000 subscriber video. So I said, I said a while ago, hey, when I get 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna make this video, and I'm making this video. And the video is that I'm going to show you how to use this. And it even has a case. This is a slide rule. And I am not really good with these, but I do have a, I found another video I'll link down below that with a good tutorial. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use this to calculate the same thing I calculated when I said I would make this. And so let me go over the calculation. I'll show you how the basic idea how this works, and then we're going to do it. And I do have a backup calculator because I know I might make a mistake. So just we can check. Okay, so here's the problem that I did before. I said if you have the Earth, which is right there, uh, how high above the Earth surface do you have to get for the gravitational field to be seven newtons per kilogram? And so to set this up, I can find the gravitational field. It's just uh, the gravitational constant, universal gravitational constant G, mass of the Earth over the distance between that and the point squared. And so that distance is going to be the radius of the Earth plus H. And so then I get G M E over R plus H squared. And I just want to solve this for H, multiply both sides by R plus H squared, divided by G, take the square root of both sides, and then I can solve for H. Now, I, I like this problem because number one, G, M, uh, G, M, E, and R all have scientific notation, so you have to deal with that. We have multiplication, we have division, and we have the square root. And so I have to do all of that on the slide rule. So here are my values, the radius of the Earth, 6.37 times 10 to the 6 meters, mass of the Earth, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th, G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. So how does a slide rule work? Okay, so number one, it's a numerical calculator. So it's not, it's not doing something, well, it is. Okay, let's just say we have something like this, F equals mg, and I want to calculate the force. And these are two numbers I don't want to actually multiply. Well, what if I take the natural log of both sides? Natural log of F equals the natural log of mg. Now, go, this is where you can see it's the numerical calculator. I can get a value for m and g, but I can't mathematically take the natural log of something with units, so we're not even going to worry about the units, right? So that's why it's a, a numerical calculator. Uh, and, and this idea of numerical stuff is super important. Um, people think it's not real. Numbers are real. So one of the properties of a natural log, of a product of natural logs, I can actually write this as the natural log of m plus the natural log of g. So in this case, what I can do is to convert these to natural logs and add them, and then unconvert the natural log to get the actual answer. So I can, I can turn a multiplication problem into an addition problem. And an addition problem you can do with a ruler, thus the rule part. Uh, I also can do this, let's say if I want to solve for m, m equals f over g, then the natural log of m would be the natural log of f minus the natural log of g. So I can do division also. Uh, I can do square roots. I'm going to use a square root. Uh, in that case, it's just really a lookup table. Uh, it can do a whole bunch more stuff that I don't know how to do. Okay, so let's let's just jump. In. Oh, let's do let's do an example. Let's do something like two times three. So how do you do two times three? So uh, you'll notice on the slide roll you have a bunch of lettered scales and I hope you can see this. I'm using my phone instead of my normal setup because I know things are going to get close. See? You can see that. Um, okay, so if I what I want to do is use the C and the D scale and I want to put one of the numbers on the C scale and one on the 2 scale. So I'm going to move this one right here on the C scale to the first number I want to multiply which is 2. So I'm going to slide this over and you'll notice this goes 1 2's right there, 3, 4, 5. It's not a linear scale. This has already taken the natural log. So I can move that to 2. Now that's lined up. You see that? I have lined that up with 2. Next, I'm going to take my little slider right here and put this on 3. On the So that's 2. I'm going to do 2 times 3. Wait. Is it very messed up? So that's on 2, 2 times 3, over here, yeah, that's that, uh, that's 2, that's 3, so 3 right there, and line it up, 
So there's two is on the D scale, three is on the C scale, back up, and then if I look back down, I get six. And guess what? Two times three is indeed six. Now what if I want to divide? If I want to divide, I just do the reverse. I take six divided by three, and then I'll see where it lines up over there. Okay. What if I want to do the square root? Well, the square root is really just a lookup table, and I flip this over and I use the which scale do I use? I use the the D, the D and the F. Let's see, no, wait, do I use this one? The A and the D. I use the A and the D, the A and the D. Oh, it's got C D on both sides. Okay, so I can just use this side. I don't have to flip it over. So if I put this on, let's say. Uh, 2, 2 squared is 4, so if I put this on 2, you don't even worry about the middle rule, you just go 2 and then it lines up with the top as 4, is that lined up, 2, it's not close, let's see, 3 is 9, right, uh, 4 is 16, and so you'll notice here that I have to, it, it actually says 1.6, right, you have to know the place value of all this stuff. It doesn't do everything for you. Okay, let's just stop messing around and start doing this stuff. Okay, ready for a disaster. I'm going to write out my equation. Now, just like with uh, before, um, you really have to kind of keep track of the numbers yourself. So let's just write this out in the full thing. H equals the square root, I'm going to leave off the units, uh, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th. That's G. Mass of the earth is uh, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th, uh, all of that over 7, and then minus 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, so let's deal with the scientific notation first, because right here I can do this myself. I can take 10 to the negative 11th times 10 to the 24th, right? 10 to the negative 11 times 10 to the 24th is going to be 10 to the 13th. So I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of 10 to the 13th times the square root of 6.67 times 5.97, all of that over 7, minus 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. Okay, now 10 to the 13th, what times itself is 10 to the 13th? Well, that would be 10 to the uh, 6.5, right, which is a little weird. Uh, so we can write that as the square root, so I'm going to write the square root of 10 to the 13th is equal to uh, the square root of 10 times 10 to the 6th. Isn't that right? Yeah, because 10 to the 6th squared is 10 to the 13th, and then I have another 10. And now I can take the square root of 10. Let's go ahead and do that. The square root of 10, I'm a little nervous here. Okay, so I go over here to 1, because that's 10. And the square root down here is 3. Oh gosh, this is so tiny. So see, there's 4. So 1, 2, so 3.2, 1, 2, 4, 6, 5, 3. 3.265 times 10 to the 6. Is that right? Okay, check on. Uh, 10 square root. 3.16. So this is 10. Actually, I think I have to use this. 10 square root is 3. Point, there's 3. So this is going to be 4, 5. That's 5. 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that is 1.1. 1. 1. 1. Okay, well, that's good. Okay, so I got that number. Now, and I took care of the scientific notation. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with this in a second. Let's do this now. 6.67 times 5.97. Okay, so I'm going to slide this to 6. This is really terrible, isn't it? And I'm terrible at this. 
6.67 is way over here. So there's six. And so you'll notice that my scale's off. So I actually can move the, the end of the scale instead. So I'm going to move the end of the scale to 6.67. So there's six right there. That's 6.5, 6.6. .6. Six point three seven. I'm sorry. There's six, six, one, two, three. Right about there. That's terrible. I'm terrible at this. How many times am I going to say that? A lot. Okay. So now I need the five point nine seven. So that's on this top scale. Five point nine. Seven. Okay, so now I line that up with this bottom thing and I get two, three, uh, three point five, six, seven, eight, one. Three point. What did I just say? Three point eight one. All right, let's just double check because. Um, if I'm way off, I'm way off, and I'm okay. 6.67 times 5.97. Okay, 3.39 point. That's pretty good. I'm going to leave it at that. And this is, I'm going to have to add that times 10. Because, see, here's where I only gives me the place, right? I know that 6 times 5 is 30. So I know that I have to get something like that. So this is actually just right. This is uh, 38.1. That's that. Now I need to divide that by 7. So now I'm going to go, uh, actually this is, three. let's go back, 3.81 times 10, divide that by 7. I can't do the times 10, I'll leave that out there. So I'm going to do 3.8, so I'm going to put 7 on the top. So I put this, and I put 3.81 on the bottom. So 3.81 on the bottom, so there's 2, 3, oh I just had it up there, 3.8. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and then divide by seven. Is that right, right there? No, I do seven on the top. Okay, so I need to use the bottom scale. I need to use the other end. Three point eight one. This is terrible. Who's watching this? Is anyone actually going to watch this? Divided by seven right there and I get 2.56 and that's still the times 10 to the 10th times 10 to the first okay let's move this 10 out front which is actually really nice because it's in the square root and I can just combine it with that right so I'm going to rewrite this now we're at I have 10 to the 10th a square root of 10 and another square root of 10 when I bring it out of the square root. So I get 10, so I get 10 to the 7th. So I have 10 to the 7th over here, and they have the square root of 2.68, and then I have minus 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. And I know that's wrong, but that's okay. So now I need to take the square root of 2.68. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the A and the D over here. Okay, so I'm going to go with, this is double check, I can't remember, two right there, four. Okay, so this, I need to put 2.68 up here and the square root will be down there. 2.5, uh, 6, 8. And the square root is 1.5. Can you read that? 1.62. So I get 1.62 times 10 to the 7th minus 6.37 times 10 to the 6th. Okay. Uh, now I can subtract these. Now, here we have to do real subtraction, right? So I, I'm going to actually subtract this by making this 10 to the 7th. So I'm going to say 1.62 times 10 to the 7th minus 0 0.637 times 10 to the seventh. Now they have the same exponents, I can subtract these, and I get zero point, I have to just do the subtraction normally, like a normal human. 
So I'm going to have 0 0.99. Is that right? Close to it. If I use that 4, this is 9, 8 times 10 to the 7th. And I think that's my answer. Okay, let's just do this real quick the old fashioned way. Uh, clear. Let's just, I'm going to just double check. I think I'm way off. Uh, 6.67 uh, times 5.97 equals divide by 7 equals square root 2.38. Oh, I have 2.38. How did I get that? I'm way off. Okay. I'm, I'm way off, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I think what happened was I had the square root was way off, and then when you take the square root, you give more off. Okay, so that's that. Now, the next question. What am I going to do when I get to 100,000 subscribers? I think that's a long way away if I ever even get there. So if you have a suggestion for what I should do at 100,000, that's that. And I would like to thank you. Look, I mean, I like to make these videos, and they're fun. Uh, I, I think I would... I enjoy making them. I think some people enjoy watching them. And so my light just turned off, and that's fine. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for subscribing and all that stuff.